Do you dislike having a high profile, high paying job? Tired of having your ID stolen by assistance for your splendiloquent level of access? Wanna just be left alone for a while? Well, have I got a job for you. The janitor is the true unsung hero of the station. Through the blood, the poo, the god knows what milieu of spilled chems, the janitor's there to guard his fellow wage slaves against the menace of a broken hip and unpaid medical leave. I've fallen, and I can't get up! There's a right way to do janitoring, and then there's an efficient way. Between those, there's a wide gulf of doctrine. Doing things the traditional way is a point of pride for some janitors, and that's okay. They go around with their little water cart and their mop, and they endure the long channeling time, and when someone slips and falls, they know their minimum wage ancestors are smiling down upon them as they chant their ancient mantra of, Hey, I put down a sign. The efficient way is much more boring, but it does keep the station cleaner, as you spend less time dicking around. I'll show you how it works. When you spawn into your little closet, just leave the mop and cart behind. Fuck it. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Instead, grab a bucket, your galoshes, because they will get stolen if you leave them here, your sponge, and some cleaning grenades. Go and scrounge yourself up a tool belt, because almost everything a janitor needs will fit into one. Then, look for one of these. These are fuel tanks. They are never, ever used for their original purpose. But while they're not busy being the beating heart of a flamethrower or a ghetto-rigged explosive, they're gonna be our industrial-sized reservoir of detergent. Space cleaner is great, because unlike with most liquids, which leave the floor slippery, Space Cleaner evaporates almost instantly. No more slipping. Now, take your jerry can full of accelerant here and find some way to empty it. My favorite is the spin emote. If you don't want to be covered in fuel oil, however, simply smacking a wall with it will empty it of its contents. Now, take your fuel tank to medbay. As with most horror movies that involve a terrible pandemic outbreak, the janitor on Goon has access to virology, meaning you can barge in, knock over all those whack-ass beakers and shit, and make yourself a fuckload of space cleaner. Space cleaner starts off with ammonia, which is made out of equal parts hydrogen and nitrogen. After that, you follow things up with a mixture of water and ethanol, which should finish off the compound. After you're done giving the whole station airborne GBS, Take your space cleaner and click drag to your sprayer to keep it full. Now, 80% of your job has been trivialized. Your sprayer will clean up almost any mess adhered to floors. For everything else, you have the ever versatile sponge. Emptied, the sponge will soak up liquid messes, allowing you to move them over to a drain. Full of a liquid like space cleaner or water, you'll be able to clean floors and objects just by clicking on them. No channel time. If you've come across a lot of litter, there's also a trash cart at your office, as well as trash bags. Trash bags keep things neat and tidy in your cart, so that if you ever need to open up a menu and root through it, it doesn't take forever and a day to populate. They're a way to speed up waste disposal, since you can pretty much just click-drag a whole exploded person or whatever into it, and when you think you've got enough, drag it over to one of those extra-large waste chutes and click-drag it in order to empty the whole damn thing. Janitor traitoring has some of the funniest but most difficult to pull off gimmicks in the book. They're distinctive, hyper-lethal, but very hard to pull off. You've got to rely on a really strong baseline of robustness if you want to escape on that shuttle alone. Like a postal worker who's finally had enough, you can turn the very tools of your trade against the world which beat you up for not putting down signs. One of the most subtle items you can get with your telecrystals is just a plain old trash cart. No one will look twice at it. That is, until they're being compacted, screaming into a meat cube.
The Porta Puke is like an inverse cleaning grenade and is perhaps one of the loudest, most distinctive pieces of trader gear at your disposal. When someone is shoved inside, it will rapidly spin them around like a deranged slap chop full of blunt edges and gravel, spreading puke everywhere, fucking everywhere. The station angry about slipping? Oh, you'll give them something to be angry about. They will know what true slipping is when every inch of every corridor is flooded in vomit and the emaciated corpses of your unclonable hyperbolemic victim. This one's a high-risk, high-reward item, because using it is pretty much a declaration of war on your co-workers. <laughs> Expect to die by the sword at the end of your rampage. Your cleaning grenades, on the other hand, are damn near worthless. Don't bother. As a traitor janitor, your best friend is definitely your galoshes. With these babies, you're free to dump liquids everywhere, making your escape as your pursuers slide down hallways and slam against walls like the malaprop men they are. Uh... Make sure to put down signs for extra morale damage. If you want a more subtle approach, your virology access will serve you well. If you're willing to learn the madness of disease creation, you can create a terrible sickness which will leave the crew at your mercy when you go loud. For a more low-tech approach, the chem dispenser means you can make pretty much whatever chem chemists can make. If you want to be thematic, that means space lube, which essentially turns any surface into a frictionless one, making otherwise annoying falls into bone-shattering horizontal free falls that can send people deep into crit if they're unlucky. Or if you're a particularly cheeky shit, out an open airlock. Likewise, you can pick up a variety of harmful chemicals for your spray bottle, letting you, say, walk up to someone with blood on them, offer to clean it off for them, and then spray them with a mixture of itching powder and spiders, letting you trash compact them at will. One last thing. A word to the wise. People want your galoshes. They're awesome. If you were an assistant, you'd mug you for them too. However, do not despair when you're eventually toolboxed to crit and rifled for your shoes. What many new janitors don't seem to realize is that most of the station layouts actually have an auxiliary janitor closet. On COG-1, it's located over here. On COG-2, it's over here. The closets inside ought to have an extra pair of galoshes for you, provided one of the command staff haven't already used their all-access to eminent domain your fancy kicks. Well, folks, that's all for today. I hope I helped expand your understanding of our underappreciated station sanitation technicians, and how they should be feared and respected because you never know what might lurk in the mind of a person who lives in a tiny closet around a bunch of hazardous chemicals. I think next time around I'll cover the basics of botany, but, well, we'll see. Personally, I have a black thumb. Everything I touch dies. Once, I tried to grow aloe and it died on me. Aloe's a cactus. That shouldn't even be possible. In any case, I'll leave you with Goon's own official video on janitor duty. It's a much more comprehensive video than mine. I'll see you around.